Yo, what's going on and welcome back to some Genshin Impact and today we are going to be revisiting those first three temples from the beginning of the story. It's the Temple of the Falcon, which we are currently at, the Temple of, the temple of the Wolf, and then the Temple of the Lion. Now you can see that each one of these gives some adventure XP and I believe you can only clear them once. But I'm not sure how long or difficult they are. I imagine that where I'm at, they're probably not too There's difficult for me. We for but we might just do one temple here and then do like one video on each temple, or we might do all three of them. I'm not, I just don't know how long they'll take. But if you're curious what my team is looking like at the moment, that's not really shown. I guess it shows the first four as the team. So we got Zhang Ling first. She's already level 50, got lots of attack. Uh, we got Fischl as our secondary, so we can create Overload with uh, Fire and Lightning. It's very good for doing a lot of damage. Plus, we can put Zhang uh, Ling's little Yoba the Panda over here on the ground. He breathes fire. And then we can also go to Fischl and put Oz on the ground here. He deals electric damage like shoots them with little electric bolts so then we have like two passive sources of damage just kind of sitting around i got amber here i don't really use amber too much she's just there to be a second fire character which gives um gives me 25 percent extra attack and we can use like her explosive puppet and fiery rain and stuff but i don't really use her too much and then we got barbara as our healer so nothing too surprising there. Let's go ahead and get into the Temple of the Falcon. This one gives the least amount of XP at only 200. And it looks like it's only recommended rank 20. But it is, it's also recommending a fire hero. So Zhang Ling should just kind of tear through this. Because my Zhang Ling is already quite strong. Now, does this look the same as the first time we came in? It's kind of like the same layout, but different stuff is happening here. Um, are we gonna need... It doesn't seem like we can stop these with... Ooh. So we can't change our squad, huh? We might just run through the fire. <laughs> Because I obviously don't have Kaya in my squad, and I wasn't really expecting this. What does that do? I wonder if that just stops you from jumping on top of this. Let's just run it. It doesn't deal very much damage. And if we have the damage beyond Barbara, then it's not going to matter, because every time she comes out, she's just going to be healing anyways. Okay, so what exactly is happening here? It looks like we got explosive barrels. Okay, so that shut off that thing. Okay, so it is a little bit different. So it might take us some time to get through here. Depending on how many enemies there are, of course. Oh, we probably could have, we probably could have turned off those things if we had shot the little triangle that was powering them, I think, in that first room. Probably could have blown it up. I don't know if we needed to use Amber, because Fischl might not be able to do damage to them, but... So yeah, the, the big boss dude just kind of ran away immediately, so I just didn't really worry about him. And then we'll have Yoba the panda over here. Just destroy everyone. Oh, the chest. What is going on here? What? Why do we need these explosive barrels? I assume there could still be like secrets and stuff in here. I'm 
Which is why we should try and interact with everything that's interactable. Air slime. Probably have to shoot all three air slimes. Alright, well, we appear to already be at the end. Whoops. I meant to do like a diving attack. Oh, but there are at least enemies here. Not a whole lot of enemies, but there were some. We get a precious chest, which also gives adventure XP. So I guess that's important to note. Like there's chests in here that will give you adventure XP on top of the XP just for completing it. What? Defeat the monsters and save Alon? I don't even know where that quest is coming from. So, did we get the XP or what happened here? It looks like we got the XP and everything. Huh, okay. Kind of unceremonious, but that's fine. Being that that one was so short, we're obviously just going to move on to the Temple of the Wolf. You probably should do these a little bit earlier, but I've been distracted with like uh, adventuring and such. So I haven't quite gotten to them, but they are going to help me keep my adventure rank going up. This one's weak to lightning and fire, even better. Because I'm at adventure rank 27 now, so it's starting to slow down with XP, so having something big that can give you like another 1000 XP is pretty good. Didn't you start last time down there? All the way back there? Thought maybe there'd be like a secret, but it didn't look like it. Hello? Alright, we're not gonna be that effective against the Pyro Slimes. different trials, huh? I don't know if we're gonna have to do all the trials or we are just picking one. What would we want to do the most? Probably electro trial. Actually thinking about it, Hydro Trial is probably the easiest for us. This shield is not as injured as I had hoped for. We'll just wait for his shield to either start burning or him to be distracted. Now how is that an electro trial? Can we climb this? No. So how would I get up there then? We climb this? Yes. Oh, whoops. Hmm, that doesn't really work. Can we put this out? No. Oh, okay, you can actually make that jump. 
But how on earth are we gonna make the second jump? Oh, you could just you could just do it. Okay. Fair enough. Is there anything else over here? I don't think so. Alright, let's go to this. I don't know how that was an electro trial. So we'll try Hydro Trial next. Okay, I mean, this looks more Hydro-y. Although it does have a Cryo, which isn't exactly Hydro. We're just gonna ult. There's no real reason to hold on to our ult, because a lot of this stuff is too easy anyways. Oh, that's it? We're done. Well, that was exciting. Kind of. Is this breakable? There's probably a secret in here. Any more chests in this room? Could be one back here. Nope. Alright, well, I guess we are also done with the Temple of the Wolf. They don't really put up a fight, I guess, if you get this far into the game. But we do also have the recommended elements for it, which is probably helping quite a bit. Yeah, it says no possible rewards anymore for those. Okay. And is this the last one? I wonder what Eagle's Gate is. Eagle's Gate was the fourth one that we couldn't do. Maybe we'll also do that one? Because it seems like that one is the same thing. Or like related to these other ones. Electro. I mean, we have Electro. So this might be a chance to use Fischl a little bit more, but... Unless things are just literally immune to Zhang Ling, it's not gonna help them a whole lot. Okay, by recommended lightning, you mean requires lightning. There's a little bit of a difference there, I think. We do. Oh, we only have Oz again because we ulted, I guess. I think our ult automatically gives us Oz. Number of times frozen cannot exceed five. Oh no. it that's the entire that's the entire dungeon is it one room I mean I'll, I'll take free loot and XP it's pretty good huh. what if you could like backtrack if you wanted to no, it doesn't seem very easy to do that. You can maybe fly that, but... There's probably nothing over there to begin with. Alright, so I guess we'll go do the eagle one as well. I thought we were going to be doing the three temples. But it turns out hey, we could probably just do the fourth one as well.
Explore Fallen Fortress, Eagle's Gate. So this is another 500 adventure rank. So with the 900 we were getting before, it's 1,400 adventure rank in very little time. And again, it's all fire and lightning. Did we do this one? Oh, we did. We did like walk into this one to go for like the Luke's quest, right? Oh, there's a fire, like a little thing over here. Probably want to get rid of this. Okay, maybe we can't get rid of that? Not exactly sure. It seems like we can't get rid of it, but I'm pretty sure it's buffing the enemies. Okay, uh, that guy hurt. You can see they kind of like turn red when they get buffed. They also appear to get fire on them. Okay, hello. Just spam all our abilities real quick. Break this? It appears so. Wait, is that it? <laughs> Man, these things are so short. I guess it's designed to be like a difficult fight for the time. There you go, do it. Well, I guess that's it. We did all four of the temples. We got like a nice little chunk of adventure rank. And it was not very difficult, especially if you're already over leveled like I am. But I'm sure like none of those seem too difficult to begin with. You might like spend a few more minutes in the battle if your characters aren't quite as strong but either way i guess that's gonna do it for this one hopefully you enjoyed hope like hopefully you see that doing those temples is gonna give you a whole bunch of free xp that's not difficult to obtain at all plus a bunch of other resources but either way hopefully you enjoy this one and i will see you next time